Today I watched more My Little Pony and it was so fun. We're currently on season four and it is great. I'm doing this all live. So please come follow the Twitch. It is completely free and it helps me out a lot. All right, enjoy. Hello, it's me, Amesy. It's you. I don't know. It could be chat. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's chat. I'm only going to be here for a second because I've got a hospital. Maybe, maybe, maybe focus on the hospital part of that. Look after yourselves, please. Chat is on a scale of 1 to 10, how are we all feeling today? We are currently live at 4 p.m. my time because, bitches, I have a D&D &D campaign to go to later. Um, D&D, hell yeah. I'm a, I'm a bard, chat. My character's name is Helios because I'm a gay boy. Um, how are you all feeling, chat? On a scale of 1 to 10, hope you guys are having a lovely time. I am wearing my girlfriend's, uh, shirt again. We are on season 4 of My Little Pony. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. You got to, new, you got to know a new person today. That's sick. Oh my god, I just, chat. chat. I just got a follow from someone called Twilight Sparkle. Guys, Twilight Sparkle is literally watching the show right now. In the stream. Alright, chat, you guys ready? You guys ready for some, uh, My Little Pony? Ready for some watch party, some chill time, some chill watch party time, some chill, some chill watch party chilling, chilling with the watch chilling? Yeah, great. Let's go! Four more months, four more months, four more months! I bet you're excited, huh? Oh, my. I, uh, I could be excited. I don't really know. I wasn't really thinking. Come on, you gotta be excited! Oh, well, I guess maybe I'm a little kind of sort of excited. I thought so! Yeah. So, um, why am I excited? Because the next Daring Do book is coming out exactly four months from today! That's how exciting it is! So, what amazing, incredible, awesome adventure do you think Daring Do will have in her next book, huh? Good luck on this one. I'm not gonna stalk the fortress oh, of Talakar. Oh, I remember! Only to be forced to contend with its dreaded and impenetrable arrow defense? And if so, could her skill, quick wits, and courage possibly carry the day? Oh my god, it's Becky's tornado from the screen oh. battle. Will her next adventure bring her face to face with the vast and horrible Aoi Zodal himself? <laughs> would she cower, turn tail and run? Or would she fly at him full bore, knowing full well against all odds that the greatest challenge she never faced was still sure to be no match for? <gasps> Look out! So sure she's gonna last another four months. My little pony. Yeah, we're gonna have to skip the intro just because I don't have a lot of time. Hang on. Oh, the, I can't get over the wings. I can't get over the wings in the intro. It's so cute. Three months and 26 days. Three months and 26 days. Three months and 26 days. Hey, Twilight. Aren't you excited that... So glad you finally made it. What's every pony doing here? We're having a holiday party. <laughs> so, what holiday would today be? National Random Holiday Party Day. Oh, I've you. never heard of it either, but the punch is quite tasty. You might say the secret ingredient is a secret. <laughs> How come no pony bothered to invite me? I came to invite you personally. But it seems you were a speck too busy reading the last Daring Do book for the 12th time. Yeah, well, in three months and 26 more days, I'll be able to read the next one. Oh, haven't you heard? The release of the next book got pushed another two months. Oh, no. You see me on the news. You see me on the news. I've been waiting so long already. I don't think I can take another two months. I'll never make it. Yeah. Me with Arcane right now. Thank you for that. Do they give what do you reason? mean this is so you call? The publisher just said author A.K. Yearling won't be able to finish the book for another two months. Cupcakes? <laughs> How could you possibly know that before me? 
I'm the series' biggest fan. I'm just as big a fan as you. In fact, I'm the one who first introduced you to the books, remember? Oh, right. A.K. Yearling just might be my favorite author. I know everything about her. Where she grew up, where she studied literature, where she wrote the first Daring Do book. Where she lives? Uh, no. Oh, I could probably find out somehow. Why? Don't you get it? The new book is obviously delayed because she needs help dealing with whatever everyday nonsense is distracting her from spending her every living, breathing second writing. So oh, I, no, she's on the wrong side of Twitter <laughs> chat. Fans no, like this me is not good. can get to read the next book ASAP. Think about it. We could help her with her laundry, buying her groceries, cooking her meals, whatever. This is not now, good. Who wouldn't appreciate that. Hmm, I don't know. What she probably wants most of all is respect for her privacy. She can always just say no. Bro is getting parasocial. Of you're right. Of course I am. Chat, I'm gonna have to give her a Twitch check. I wonder if AK Yearling will have mold on her walls. Moving on. I'm already stressed. I'm already stressed. You see what I mean? Why would she live in this remote part of Equestria? Oh, except no, to keep folks man. from intruding on her no, privacy? No, please. We should respect. I think I spotted the house. We're super close. This way. Wait. No, Rainbow Dash is gonna do this, and then the next time she's gonna click onto AD AD Yearling's stream, it's gonna be a black screen with text "subs and bits are off." Emo only. Serious stream. This is terrible, guys. Nobody's told. Rainbow Dash, this is bad. Serious stream, please don't come to my stream. Oh no, what happened? Apparently, some please don't come to my house. Sorry. Privacy pretty hard already. Twitch etiquette, bro. I mean, house etiquette. I mean, life etiquette. Yeah, whatever. The next book is gonna oh, go wait. author's notes. Some please don't really come to my house. Hmm, maybe. Or maybe AK Yearling's just a terrible, horrible, unbelievable slob. I hope AK Yearling's all right. Oh no, what if something terrible happened to her? I know, there might be no more books. Uh, but of course, I'd be worried about her, too. Oh my god, chat, do you think what? when I die, there's gonna be some fans that are like, no, there's gonna be no more My Little Pony reactions. Oh, and also that's very sad that they're dead, I guess. But oh my god, there's no metal party! Are you all doing here? Uh A K here. No we... more Portuguese! We didn't do this! We swear! What have you done to my house? We didn't do this, Ms. Yearly. We're awfully glad to see you're all right. Okay, clearly this isn't the best time, but I just I gotta say how much we all really love your books. <laughs> I'm so stressed. That's assault and battery. Is happening. Maybe now would be a good time for me to ask her how we can help move the new book along a little faster. Chop, chop! Rainbow Dash, a minute, please! A.K. Yearling has made it pretty clear that she wants to be left alone. We need to respect her wishes. You should tell that to those guys. Doesn't 
take away the fact they found the house. I'm just saying. As you probably surmised, our earlier search for this treasure was unsuccessful. So kind of you to find it for us. Give it back, Caballeron! That's Dr. Caballeron to you. He's from Book 4, Daring Do and the Razor of Dreams. He wanted to partner with Daring Do on her adventures. I know, but she refused. I can't believe it. The real Daring Do and the real Caballeron! So let me guess. Aizoto has put you up to this. You're stealing the ring to give to him, so his hold on the fortress of Talaton yeah, like will Rainbow be good Dash. for eight centuries of <gasps> Grow back! Grow, 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 grow! Thank you! No. I'm going to sell this to him. Make a bundle and retire from archaeology in splendor. Archaeology! <laughs> Kepler on you fool! You're dooming the valley to eight centuries of unrelenting heat! The market hits ponies! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, should we go in and help her, maybe? Oh, oh right. right. <gasps> Are you okay? I got this. Ooh. Um, she was just trying to help, Miss Do. Daring Do doesn't need help. She handles her business herself. I'm a strong, independent lady. I don't need no pony. We gotta go help! You heard her. She says she works alone. How can we just stand by and do nothing? You know what's at stake here? Always Odal has sought control of the Tenok Teethlin Basin since Book 3. True, but in Book 4, she defeated Always Odal and secured control of the Amulet of Atonement, dispelling the dark magic of the Quetzalcoatl Empress, and thus protecting the basin with the Radiant Shield of Razdan. But the Radiant Shield of Razdan is vulnerable to the Dark Enchantment. Does this what I sound like when I explain Are you forgetting uh, that the rings were scattered to the four corners of Tenok Teethlin, thus rendering the Dark Enchantment powerless? Only if you assume that the rings have yet to be retrieved and the ring right. Cavalaren just stole isn't That's the enough. last to completely restore the Dark Tower and its cruel hold on Tenok Teethlap. Did you ever think of that? You gotta admit, Rainbow Dash makes a pretty good point. We gotta help Daring to retrieve the ring for safekeeping before it's too late. <sighs> okay, but sounds to me like we're in way, way, way over our heads. We're going to need a carefully thought out plan. I'm coming, Daring Do! The girls are fighting! Come on, come on, come on. Bingo! Here I come, Daring Do, to join an adventure with the greatest, bravest, coolest, most incredible hero I could ever. Tui's always here, too. Okay, maybe I just need a sec. Just another adventure. No big deal. Get a grip! I got this. Though, doing it alongside Daring Do... Wow, maybe I could get my picture taken with her, or an autograph... There you go again. She's just a pony like Rainbow, any other pony. Rainbow, you're gonna get a restraining order? A pony they're not gonna, they're not gonna let you in to PonyCon? nothing more than her bare hooves, and an attitude, and... Ow! <laughs> That's starting to hurt. They're not gonna <laughs> let you. Ow! <laughs> Stop! Oh, it's just you. Wait! Don't go! Parasocial! Think fast. This is your big chance to impress her with your quick wit and courage. <laughs> I am such a huge fan. Girl's trying to get her stuff done. <laughs> Huge, huge help if you just give me a chance. I work alone. But why won't you let me team up with you just this once? My work always involves secrets. And since you never know who you can trust, it's best never to trust any pony. Ooh. But just because you can't trust some doesn't mean no pony can be trusted. Look, I don't have time to argue. Neither do I. Let's go. <sighs> I can't believe I'm even talking to her. Ooh. They 
decided to have an early dinner before making their way back down the hill to the marketplace in town. Oh, I see. You're gonna ambush them like you did in Book 4 of the Arabian Caves. Or maybe that neat trick you did in Book 3, where you swoop in and knock three guys down with one swing. Or maybe... Okay, I'll be quiet now. Just watching very quietly. <laughs> Shh. So, what kind of ambush are you gonna use then? Wow. I have been led to believe you have in your possession an item of significant importance that might be for sale. Oh, um, well, I did have another buyer like that, but he's not here, so sounds like we have a deal. <laughs> Be cool, Rainbow Dash. Be cool. She's got this. The ring daring to give it to me. Don't say why they kinda. Zodo, you know I love you, but I can't give you the ring till I've properly proposed. <laughs> Interesting, because my friends here have a proposal of their own. Wait, they're proposing? That's a lot of people. Oh my god, the polycule is real. Polycule. Take Rainbow Dash. Don't worry, Daring Do. I'll come help you. Don't oh, this is bother. so awkward to watch. Yeah. I'd say you've already helped plenty. What have I done? This is so awkward. The RSD of it all. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Quick, where does it hurt? In here. Daring Do and the ring have been captured by the dreaded Awizoto, and it's He's all just a my baby. <gasps> Dash, I'm sure whatever Dash. you did was an honest mistake. Okay, okay, Bun. Whatever. Let's just go home. We can't go back now. Looks a mite like she needs our help more than ever. Trying to help is how I got in this mess in the first place. You were right, Twilight. You should have stayed out of this. Look. There's more going on here than meets the eye. In every okay. Daring Do book, there always is. We can't turn our backs on her. She doesn't want my help, Twilight. Perhaps, but she might need it anyway. No, my hero's way better off without me. This don't sound like you. Where's the Rainbow Dash would help any pony at the drop of a hat? Or Pith Helmet, as the case may be. She's here where she's got no business being. Ooh. She should be at home. It's fine to look up to Daring Do, but you put her so high up on a pedestal, you can't even see your own worth anymore. She's in the fortress, and we're here, and we wouldn't be who we are if we didn't go in after her. And neither would you. So, are you with us or not? Right, the fucking fade? Surrender now, Awizoto. We don't I'm talk about the subtitles. <laughs> oh, daring do! Very I cool character. Miss your amusing Design. laughter jokes. Now I must leave to commence the ring placing ceremony to unleash eight hundred years of unrelenting sweltering heat. Oh, 
What the fuck? You're a soul trap! I just wanted my cheese! I was just about to save myself, you know. Of course. I just thought you might need this. Have I mentioned yet that I work alone? Have I mentioned yet that you're lucky I don't? <sighs> Oh, that's a cool shot. <laughs> Drop the ring, Owie. Whatever your name is. Place the ring quickly. Nobody's ever gonna believe them after this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Get all these rings off. If we can remove the giant ring at the bottom, the whole fortress will collapse. Was this your plan all along? I had to find a way to get into the fortress. You did it on purpose? But, but I thought... It didn't count on how heavy this ring would be, though. Because having a little help can be handy sometimes. Uh oh. Yeah, but they're inside. So okay. The animation is so cool on that guy. You can flop too, you know. Oh my God, the cool bag. Never have done this without you, Rainbow Dash. Oh, the little! I've got a book to finish. Just had the coolest adventure with the coolest pony ever. Came this close to blowing it because I got so wrapped up in how awesome she was, I almost forgot about how awesome I was. Good thing I didn't, because it gave me a chance to show her how important it is to put your trust in some pony else. Oh, I forgot how awesome I am! Package from AK Yearling. Sweet! Oh my gosh, you're on the pianist? Wait before any pony else gets it. You're on the pianist? Yeah. I should have done that. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Mate, I'd be suing. Rainbow Dash, you can't use your likeliness for free. Babe, you're gonna have to get paid for that. Rainbow, you can't let people just use your likeliness for completely free just because you're a fan. Now that's copyright infringement. You better get at least 20%. Rainbow Dash would pay you! <laughs> I will pay you a thousand dollars if you put me in this book. <laughs> I can go very fast, please. Dear Princess Celestia, Today I found out that if you just follow someone that you're a fan of and find their house, there is a chance that they will be in danger and then they will write a book about you. I'm going to try and do this to every single person that I am a fan of. XOXO, Rainbow Dash. Dear Princess Celestia, do you know how to get rid of a restraining order? I'm not too sure what it means, but I'm pretty sure it is not a good thing. XOXO, Rainbow Dash. 
Dear Princess Celestia, how do I work it out on the remix with Daring Don't? It appears I'm in jail because I trespassed. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, how do I get off the DNI list? <laughs> That's insane. That is insane. Dear Princess Celestia, I'm stuck on the DNI list. How do I get off? This episode is called Flight to the Finish. Anyone know what this is about? Anyone know this episode? Uh, it is, it is, it is called Flight to the Finish. Um, no idea what's about to happen. Oh, it's CMC created. Yes! Today, we have two special guests with a very special announcement. Okay, tell Everybody, me more. Pony, welcome the head of the Equestria Games, Ms. Harshwini. Oh, it's... Thank you. Now, I'm sure you all know about the Equestria Games, where ponies from all over the land compete for glory. Is sad? Don't tell me that. Athletic Don't tell me that. No, it's not. It's gonna be well, really happy, and everyone's gonna be happy, and everyone's gonna be okay. The littlest ones will have the chance to compete for a weighty responsibility of your very own. Oh, come on! Tell them the fun part! Oh, girl! Whoa. That's right! All you gotta do is show Miss Harshwini the coolest, most spectacular, most rocking routine, and you're going to the games! So, who's gonna be the lucky pony? Yeah, I'm not used to seeing the ponies me. with eyebrows. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's us. Maybe it's us! Hey! Oh, no, I am. I just happen. wasn't used to it. My little pony, my little pony. Oh, Morgan, thank you for the 100 biddies. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing Lock in, chat. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? So, the winning team gets to carry the Ponyville flag at the Equestria Games. Oh, you are gonna love this. I love how Rainbow Mr. Dash just appears and, like, just takes over. It's great. Over-enthusiastic outbursts. Now then, let me be clear on the rule. Damn. You ponies will form teams. Each team will create their own flag-carrying routine. Every pony will be judged on grace, style, and originality. Yo, get some on in this. most complicated scoring system, which I will elaborate upon now. Firstly... Come on, get to the nitty-gritty later. Tell him the important... Um, like the gamer that just said when I type in Russian, it puts me in timeout. That is because we can't speak multiple languages in the Twitch chat because my moderators aren't able to uh, moderate the chat in that way. And we don't know if you're saying something really offensive that could offend somebody else in chat that also speaks the same language. And we also don't know if you're saying something really, really bad um, towards me or towards anyone else in the thing. Once again, it isn't because of the language you're speaking. It is because we only have... Thing. If you're mainly Russian and you can't understand, I understand that chat. I am not a Russian streamer, sadly. I don't, I, I'm an Eng Welsh, English, um, so maybe you, I, I'm not, I don't know how to help here, actually. Um, is there a subtitle extension where you can, like, do it natural? I don't know, I have no idea. I only have, I have five languages that I pay for. Uh, the only five I have is Welsh, English, Spanish, French, and Portuguese. Yeah, all right. The coach! Sorry, Jeff. That's right. Thanks, Dawn. Hey, so I'm so tired today, Dawn. Thank you. Why I'm qualified to coach you? Dawn Guess being like, Amy, you're okay. You can move on. I'm like, game thank you, Dawn. When she was a little Billy. Me! I'll never forget it. I burst into the stadium, spreading my wings, wow. the flag flapping in the breeze. I did tricks with that flag, the likes oh, of which no pony saw yeah. And no pony seen since. 
professionalism, Miss Dash. I must insist. If you want I to remember do your job, so vividly of these ponies, being you younger and looking up to like the older people in school and keep your emotions like in admiring check. them. I'm making myself absolutely 100% crystal clear. <laughs> Yes, Miss Harshwinny. You know, professionalism is my middle name. Rainbow Professionalism Dash. I don't think that's true. Hmm. Well, in three days' time, Ms. Dash will accompany any pony competing to the Crystal Empire, where you will demonstrate your routines for me and the other judges, who will judge you very professionally. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes, quite, quite correct. In the meantime, get ready to train and train hard because I know this opening ceremony is the Ahiga. single most important thing that will ever happen in your young lives. But I'm putting I all the CMC in my pocket today. I'm going to be so and honest with so you. Am I. Yeah. Bro, I need someone to do that to my back. I think it'll fix me. after me. school tomorrow at 1500 hours. Sharp. And show me your flag carrying skills. I am out of it. Professionally. See how is this when you went to school oh. of acting with expressions Ponies. and not um, like the face? Most important I mean, I mean not la language. Your routine needs to show what your town means to you. So, do Ponyville proud. Work hard. Be bold. We just subbed. Wow. Very nice. Thank you. W. That is w1. All... I love Rainbow. She's so me. Yeah, he's so gay as hell, come brother. With the Sorry. Win this I'd like thing. to apologize. I'd say that's fruit and tune terrific. But there's one problem. I bet every pony in class is planning to compete. Listen, some pony in our class is gonna carry that flag, so it might as well be us. Crusaders, are you in? Or I think are I could be all in? of them a capture the flag. I'm what are your thoughts? In. Me too. Me three. All right, the winning routine needs to show what's important about Ponyville. How, do you think right? I, how, how far do you right? think I could boot them? So, what's special about Ponyville? It's, it's. Thank you for the sub, Alex. Thank you! I got it. Three months it's in advance! The fuck? Kinds of Thank ponies you! We live together as friends. Earth ponies like me! Unicorns like Did me! You get a high print? Thank you! Pegasi like me! So somehow we gotta figure out a way to show that in our act. We're gonna need a plan. And a lot of hard work! I love how you and guys are always know when there's a song coming. You guys have like the pinky sense just before be songs. Ponies, but we have hearts as strong as horses! Amy! W4! W... No, W2! Yeah, one sec. Before the song starts, I want to say my favorite thing about you guys, right? Genuinely. And this isn't me making fun of you guys. Every single song in this show, you guys say, best song. Every... I've noticed it. Every single song that comes on, you all go, Oh my god, the best song! This is the best song! And I'm like... Oh, I'm a bit confused. Which one is the best song? Okay. Ponies in town. This make you laugh. Moves, got the mojo. No harder working ponies around. We are a trio. Work as a team. We'll be the first ponies out on the flag. Waving. Sing it. With the show, I should do a song tier list of like all of them. Yeah. Born episode five is cool. This is so cute. We've got hearts as strong as horses, and we're playing to win. As we gallop to glory, we can conquer any challenge we're in. We've got hearts, hearts strong as horses, hearts strong as horses. Whoa! 
are going Welcome to in, everyone's for coming sure. in, by the way. We already have the most divine routine planned. It's absolutely sure to crush everyone else, and I mean crush. But we're winners, and we have hearts. Sure, but you know what you don't have? Your, Your cutie, cutie marks. Blank, 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 blank. I'm gonna blank, blank them down do the stairs. Having cutie marks on okay Ponyville children. would be unthinkable. <laughs> And we, of course, already have our cutie marks. So we know who's gonna be in the winner circle. Me, me, me. Listen, you two. Me, me, cutie me, marks me. are no cutie marks. You'll see. The Crusaders are gonna carry that flag at the games. Yeah. May the best ponies win. Game on. Show me what you got, cutie mark Crusaders. Talking a lot for someone Don't named worry, Silver Spoon. We will. Yes, now, I am. This Lois. is just a little something we threw together. It's not perfect yet. Not even close. Let's watch the cutie mark goof satyrs do their sad little routine. They're gonna be a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> Since the dawn of recorded time, in one town of amazing amazingness, three types of ponies coexist. We are Earth Ponies! We are Unicorns! We are Pegasi! This is so and cute. The town where friendship reigns is our home! Now welcome to the stadium, the flag of the place we love best! in progress. So, what did you think? That was amazing! Yay! I got scared. Hold on now. Gotta stay calm, cool, and collected. They're from Wales, guys. To give a calm, clear analysis... Wait, you whipped that act together just yesterday? That is... Professionalism, Dash. Keep those emotions in check. Overall, it was kinda, sorta... It's okay. Keep working hard. Who knows? You might have a shot. Gotta go. Yeah. Do y'all think she liked it? I'm not really sure. I love Rainbow You heard her. If we keep working hard, we might have a shot. So let's keep working. Trap to it, ponies. Did you see that? I can't believe I'm saying this. They could win. But they could win. Them? We already called them blank flanks. Then we need to find a new way to get under their skin. Or maybe get under their wings. Huh? Girls, we just wanted to say your act is quite impressive. Wait, what? Um, thanks? Oh, but of course, as a matter of fact, we think you're very brave. Brave? Why? Isn't it obvious? It is to us. In fact, it's obvious to every pony. You're showing all three types of Ponyville ponies, yet you have a Pegasus pony who, who can't, can't even fly! fly. What in tarnation does that have to do with anything? I'd say not being able to fly has everything to do with everything, doesn't it? I mean, a Pegasus pony at your age? You should have been flying long ago. So what if my wings can't get me off the ground? Your career as a flag carrier isn't getting off the ground either. Miss Harshwini will never pick a Pegasus pony who can't fly to represent Ponyville in front of all of Equestria. Miss Harshwini never said anything about that. I would have thought that was obvious. Well, have fun practicing anyway. Like punt these. Even if your routine will never, how shall I say, take off. Like, Don't so listen to them, Scootaloo. Scootaloo? Oh, Scootaloo. You okay? This routine isn't working how it is. We've got to rethink my part in the whole thing. What? Wow. If we want to win, I'm going to have to fly. Is that even possible? In bad tomorrow? Is that even possible? Maybe I can fly if I work twice as hard. See? Ugh. Maybe three times as hard. Golly, I don't know, Scootaloo. I don't think that's the problem. Well, I know this for sure. Flying is the only way we're gonna win, so it's back to practice. What is the law behind the wings? Is this a yeah. good idea? I'm getting a lot of mixed messages in the chat. Fun, oh. where you at? I'll just work four times as hard. Probably not. Yeah, you can damn me. <sighs> guys, 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 try it again. 
Well, we've been rehearsing all the live long day. Is it really? Wait, hold We're on. We're getting tired. Fine, we'll skip to my big impressive flying entrance. So you've done the do -si -do to the left, then to the right, and then there's the hoop. Then I come in. Not quite what I had in mind. We'll just uh, try that part again. <laughs> I liked our routine the way it was. Me too. But all she cares about now is flying. Don't worry. I'll be flying. It's like the energy when someone makes a comment about something that you're like really, really insecure about, and you just spend like the rest of however long trying to like you just fixate on it. Rainbow Dash. I'm gonna get this. You'll see. <laughs> That was me when people started making okay, comments on like how I speak, and like I remember there were so many streams where I'd like purposely tomorrow. speak really slow, and I try not to be lispy, so that nobody can make comments, <laughs> okay, and then I just no. realized there's no point, and then I may as well just speak the way that I talk. Ponyville, <sighs> home of the um friendship, a uh, friendship, right? Uh, there are four, no, three kinds of ponies. <laughs> left, left. I'm sorry. I'm just tired. And then I dip, <laughs> and then we turn it. Sorry. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Ta-da! <sighs> so, what you think? That's you know good and all. <laughs> I just thought maybe. Possibly you might want to go back to, say, the first version of the act, which was, I don't know, what's the word? Better just do the routine as it was. Don't mess with success, right? Seriously. Now I need to go coach these other ponies. It's so and sad. And don't forget, we've got to catch the early train for the Crystal Empire. See you in the morning. What are we going to do? We're competing tomorrow when I still can't fly. Unless... I'm just too tired. I can't keep going. Me too. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm tired, and now Grandpa. I hate this routine. Damn it bad. feels like it's all about you now. She's right. It's like you don't even need us anymore. Of course I need you. Without you two, who's gonna hold up the hoop? Ugh, you don't listen to yourself. <laughs> Forget it. I'm going home to get some sleep. So, so are you gonna leave me too? We've got to catch the early train to the Crystal Empire. I better get some rest. See you in the morning, Scootaloo. Come on, Scootaloo. Do it for Ponyville. Just gotta try 20 times as hard. Yes! 30 times as hard. Ooh. Just a little harder. I can't fly. I just can't. Crystal He's a baby Empire, cat. All aboard! Scootaloo? Where is she? She better get here soon. This here train is about to leave. Here I am. We were scared you were gonna miss the train. I... I'm not going. What? I'm the weak link. If I go and fall, flop, or do anything but fly, I'm gonna blow it for you two. I can't believe you're quitting on us! But you're better off without me! But that's not true, Scootaloo! You know what, Sweetie Belle? Forget it! If she's gonna quit, we don't want her! And we don't need Thank her! Thank you, T, for the sub! Fine! Holy six. Fine! Fine. All aboard! This is sad as fuck. I don't like How's this. How's my man? favorite routine going today? Oh, I just can't keep it in. I want you to win so bad. Bum, 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 bum. Then Scootaloo does that <sighs> through the hoop. Well, there ain't gonna be a Scootaloo. She's staying home. She's what? She got in her head that the only way to represent Ponyville was by flying in our routine. When she couldn't do it, she told us that she was quitting. And then you tried to stop her from doing that, right? Well, actually, we kind of told her and we didn't want to quit her. Hang on. Are you nuts? You're a team, and a team never leaves a friend behind. 
them one thing. Throwing away your scooter? Rainbow Dash? Yep, but not just me. I don't want to see them. And what are they doing here anyway? They're supposed to be on the train. We're not going. Not without you, Scootaloo. What's gotten into you, Scootaloo? I didn't want to ruin their chance to win just because I couldn't fly. And who said you had to? But flying's what Pegasus ponies are supposed to do. You flew when you carried the flag in the games. But that was me. You're you. And it just doesn't matter if you can fly or not. Your routine was amazing because it represented exactly what makes Ponyville special. You do still know what that is, right? Friendship. Three kinds of ponies living together as friends, just like us. Earth ponies, unicorns, and pegasi. But Rainbow Dash, what if... What if my wings never grow? What if I never fly? Listen, Scootaloo, maybe you'll fly someday, or maybe you won't. You're all kinds of awesome anyway. Yep. Who's the toughest little pony team. in town? Got the moves, Thanks, got the mojo. No harder working pony around. This is so nice. We are a trio. Work as a team. We'll be the first ponies out on the flag wave. Yep. So let's get to the Crystal Empire and let's do the routine as it was. And let's win this thing. Let's so back, chat. Let's so back. They did it! In the Equestria Games, the Ponyville flag will be carried by... Cutie Mark Crusaders! And the only person school put Look, down was herself. What you three did was... acceptable. Acceptable? Acceptable? Why, it was totally stupendously the single most amazing thing I've ever seen! <laughs> Contain your excitement, Miss Harshwinny. Remember, professionalism. Uh, <coughs> yeah, yes, well, I... <laughs> Rainbow professionalism, Dash. <laughs> One thing good and then think that is gonna be their lifelong goal. They're so me, chap. They're so me, chat. They're so me. They're so me. They're so me, chat. <laughs> me finding a new hobby that I really enjoy and then thinking this is gonna be my next career for the next 20 years. <laughs> Okay, let's watch. I'm putting on the subtitles. Hold on. Spike, you really need to go to sleep. Oh, two more minutes, Twilight. I'm just getting to the really good part. The maniac is about to... The maniac? The power pony's most evil nemesis. She was the power mat owner of a hair care product company. Oh my god, noodle it! A shampoo factory in Meritropolis. God, everyone's an Not egghead these days, strange man. strange new powers, but also caused her to go... Why the fuck 
Do I have Twilight Sparkle and Applejack in my Twitch chat? I swear I just saw somebody with the name Applejack in my chat. Am I going crazy? Just enjoying the show, partner! Oh. Uh, Applejack! What are you- Was that the bite of 87? Applejack! What are you doing here? Applejack! You've got to get back to Apple Acres! Granny Smith needs you, okay? Guys, the main six is attacking me. I'm scared. All right, let's get back. I got time? Okay, okay, enjoy the episode, Applejack. Enjoy. She and her hench ponies are planning to break into the Metropolis Museum and steal the Electro Orb so she can use it to power up her doomsday device. Of course, the maniac wouldn't have even known if Humdrum hadn't slipped up and told her all about it. Humdrum? Nah, the guy in the blue boots and pointless red cape. The Power Pony's bumbling and totally useless sidekick. The Power Ponies have to stop the maniac or Mary Useless sidekick? <laughs> Believe me, Spike, if any pony understands what it's like to get caught up in a really good book, it's me. But if we're gonna make any progress fixing up Luna and Celestia's old castle tomorrow, we all have to do our part. We don't want to be too tired to lend a hoof. Or claw. Okay, okay, I'm going to bed. Good night. Okay, okay, I'm going to bed. Yeah, does Spike look lighter for anybody? Minutes. Or is it yes. just... I don't know, I have no idea. Yeah, we got an early stream today. My little pony, my little pony. Yeah, you want some tea? You want some tea? There you go. I give the high friend chat, by the way. We are one sub away. It didn't matter. Yeah, I thought it didn't. Twitch doesn't send you notifications. Don't worry. Don't worry. Spread the word. Spread the word. Alright. Friendship is magic and all that chat. Let's lock in, okay? Take some notes, okay? Looking good, every pony. Let's keep this magical makeover moving. <gasps> Applejack? Good old Spike is here. Wait, wait, wait chat. Someone in chat goes, wait, she has wings? Oh, you poor chatter. Oh, you poor chatter. You have missed an entire arc. Oh, you poor chatter. Oh. Oh, chat, get some Fs in chat for that poor chatter. I'm gonna hold your hands when I say this. Wings are real. Okay. A little more to the left. I smack. Awesome, that's perfect right where it is. On to the next painting. You sure you don't need any help? No, that's okay. We got everything under control. Dash? Applejack, how was it like filming this? <gasps> Twilight Sparkle! Isn't there anything I can help you with, Twilight? Don't worry about it, Spike. It's all good. I think she's right. It the whole main like six are getting in. Looking great, every pony. Why don't you find a quiet spot and finish reading your comic? Weren't you right at the part where Humdrum was about to stop the villain? Humdrum never This is Gucky trying villain. to distract me by mentioning comic. Adventure Time. Sit downstairs and go watch varmints again. Rarity, let me give you a hook with that. I could do it. That's okay, Spike. Pony powers! <sighs> uh, uh, 31st. Maniac breaks into the museum. Okay, here we go. Aw, what a surprise. Ugh, what a way. surprise. Sorry. Do all the work. I'm not making fun of Spike, There's I promise. I just like to mimic like back that. what he says. <gasps> Wait. What? How can that be the end? What's Spike that? discovers cliffhanger. You can retry... What? You can return? Ugh. I know 
I saw a magnifying glass lying around last time I was here. Spike! Where are you, Spike? We're breaking for tea and biscuits! Bye! I've got tea! You can return to the place you started when the maniac is defeated. Huh? Take a close Wait, high prunes look, look different? Do they? To join the adventure in this me a photo. book? You know. What does that even mean? I saw the TV go. Are they all going in? No, I don't think this is healthy. I don't think this is a healthy environment. Okay. What the fuck? Is this Mertropolis? Mate, I'd be pissed. I'd be so mad if I got dragged in this. Tell me what the hay is going on. Holy new personas, ponies! You're the bro. This is a superhero, are you? Billy second. Zap. Radiance. Mistress Marvelous. Sal Rager. Oh my God. Based off of different superheroes, like Rarity is uh, Green Lantern, Applejack is Wonder. I was gonna say Rainbow Dash reminds me of Captain Marvel. Our ponies, you're the the superheroes from my comic book. It somehow zapped us all in here. So some ponies zap us back out. My comic book. It said the way to get back to where we started was to defeat the maniac. Your arch nemesis. Time for the main. Arch nemesis event. in brackets forced. This is a Thank silly you. episode, Let's I'm assuming. Go. She could be miles away from here by now. Pinky is Philly second, the fastest pony in all of Meritropolis. What the hell? Fucking laughing. Do what? More again. Uh... Matterhorn. You can shoot all kinds of crazy power beams from your horn. Monica. You know, I'm beginning to enjoy this. <laughs> yeah. I think they're all just themselves. Dash, quick, your zap, and your superpowers controlling the mighty forces of nature. Unholster the lightning bolt. Hi, Bun. One. Lightning, not a tornado. That was Mega Mind. Thank you for the stuff. Oh, you Shira. Idea, right what? sorry i'm gonna pause real quick do you know if i found myself in a situation where i had been like sucked into a comic book and now i was expected to save the world i would just die not to be dramatic not my problem you know what i mean like that's not on me you know what i mean like i'm good actually just kill me i'm not fighting this you know, I've already been sucked into a comic book. Like, all right, okay, just kill me. I don't care. Like, I'm not saving anyone. <laughs> I don't have the fucking capabilities for that, bro. Like, just let me die. <laughs> I just 
sit there and be like, yeah, no, I'm all right, actually. Like, guess I'll die. Like, I'm okay. I don't- I do not have the capabilities. Anybody could have become a superhero in this universe and you're picking me? Me! Oh. Oh, oh. Exactly! <laughs> This is like someone trying to explain modded Minecraft. To me. Hi, the music. Something useful. The electro orb. Well, this has been quite the main raising experience. <laughs> but I really must be going. <laughs> X Tech? Why, thank you, Humdrum. <laughs> she reminds me of, um. Cat, what's her name? I'm Humdrum. Oh no. Fuck, oh, wait, what's her name? Uh. Hold on. Applejack, you gotta help stop the tornado from destroying the city! No, uh, Dr. Octopus! Dr. Octopus! Knock off! Thank you. Thank you. Let me get this straight. We've been sucked into some kind of comic book world? Technically, it's called Metropolis. And if we want to get back to Ponyville, we can stop the maniac from using her doomsday device to destroy it. No biggie. I was already awesome. And now we've all got superpowers. Almost all of us have superpowers. But you must have them too, Spiky Boo. Your character is wearing a cape. Yeah, for absolutely no reason. Why did someone just say in chat Amesy would be the annoying sidekick, to be honest? I'll have you know, I would be the random NPC that gets killed under the rubble. I wouldn't even be, I wouldn't even be considered important enough to even have a name. I would be NPC number three that gets killed by one of the flying cars. All right? Thank you. He's pretty much useless. I'd be the villain? No, I would after that. Good thing you're, you're not the tree? The drum, then. Yeah, good thing. <laughs> So the six of us power ponies will take care of Maniac and get us back to Ponyville. Spike, where is the Maniac building her doomsday device? Her top secret headquarters. Doomsday device. Get there quick. That glowing orb she just stole is what she's going to use to power it up. You're the tragic lead backstory the way, wife. Then leave the rest to us. <laughs> You're there for representation. You did not just say that I would only be there for to be the diversity quota. You did not just say that I would only be here to be the diversity fucking quota. What the fuck? Nah, there no, I'm just, I'm just gonna watch now. Is him. that a shampoo <laughs> factory? All right, power ponies, here's the plan. Rarity, you mean- Come on out, maniac! Or the power ponies are coming in! So much for element of surprise. Guess I'll just hang back here doing nothing. I wouldn't mind being Spike in this. Oh, I don't think she's home. Maybe we should just come back later. <laughs> she's home. The four, no, the 4 p.m. chatters are ruthless. <laughs> Darling. Yo! Yeah! 
hairdresser. <laughs> this is such a silly episode. Another functional accessory. change is so subtle chat but i'm noticing it you know like the way the fluttershy I like just like chuck the hair so. i have a city to destroy Darker. and i'm not about to let the power pony stop me not this time just watch us the hairspray ray of doom it stops you in your tracks and renders your powers useless Maybe that is dead. Nice. <laughs> oh no. Fluttershy, please. Just a little anger? Well, I'm not so much angry as I'm concerned. What are you not terrified? Nice one. Don't spray! <laughs> oh, oh, humdrum. Why in all of Metropolis... It reminds me of Morgana. A ray of doom on you. Rather pointless, don't you think? Supposed to do. you know what my power would be chat if i could have a random power sorry i'm pausing once more sorry i paused a lot if i could have a random power my power would be you know like useless powers my useless power i would have would be any reference that i make everyone that is listening automatically gets it like they've just automatically seen whatever piece of media that i'm referencing or vine or like quote that would be my useless power so every time I reference something really random and very niche, everyone just oh, that's hears it automatically exactly knows what it is. Friends never need me to do anything yeah. important. Yeah. They're the ones with superpowers. They've probably already figured out how to escape. Oh, he's venting. Or not. <laughs> Bro, they'd be so good at musical musical statues. Morgana, sorry. The instrument of your destruction. <laughs> Once the electrical orb has powered it up completely, this cannon will amplify the power of my main one million times, expelling an energy blast that will cause every pony in Metropolis's main to grow. This episode wild. is very cute. It's very different. You will be my weapon's first. Victims, and there is no pony who can save you from this fate. <laughs> Not much, Axel. <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt, but aren't you forgetting about some pony? Humdrum, little guy, no superpowers whatsoever. <laughs> He's utterly useless. Holy. Every pony knows you just keep him around because you feel sorry for him. Where, where? Is this just Spike's nightmare? Maybe in your world, but in our world, Spike, uh, Humdrum always comes through when we need him. Always. Yeah, well, Sidekick appreciation! I'm not like Humdrum. When my friends really need me, I do come through. And they need me now. <laughs> I see dementia must be a side effect of prolonged exposure to the hairspray ray of doom. <laughs> Tonight, sentences nobody's ever said before. The brink of immortality, for we collectively, though mostly me, have finally 
finally defeated our most hated nemeses. We have hurled the brush of badness into the now fearful face of goodness and have struck a blow for freedom in the name of oppression and nothing will stop us! Good night, minions! We still the moon! See, this is what happens when you yap. You get hit by a massive, like, hairspray in a pony world, and then you die. Yeah, it happens all the time. Keep note of that. Get mad! I'm trying. <sighs> She's so extra. Just brainwash, right? Now, what would happen if Rowdy just imagined like a big gun? Would it have been over by now? Don't worry, I have a gun. Fluttershy. Where are you going? You seem to have everything under control. Fluttershy, we need you. You have to power up. This is such a cute episode. I'm sorry. It's just that nothing is making me mad. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Are you okay? Are you kidding me? I mean, I know you're evil and everything, but you'd hurt a teensy little harmless firefly? Really? When you're just a great big meanie! There! I said it! What makes you think you're so special? Like the rules of common courtesy don't apply to you? Why don't you pick up someone in your own side? <laughs> So it feels like a fever dream. Before we got sucked back out of the comic, and the mere chocolate beaker was only six That was insane. I'm just glad to be back. We wouldn't have made it without you, Spike. And I hope you realize that just because we don't always need your help, it doesn't mean that we don't think you're helpful. How are they all just accepting this is normal? To superpowers to be a super oh, I, they think they're worse. Never mind. Yeah. Not that. But I do have one question. Where exactly did you get that comic book? This one I got in Canterlot at the House of Enchanted Comics. Well, I didn't know it meant they were literally enchanted. <laughs> I thought it just meant like the comics they sold there had really. They're so desensitized to any concept of magic now. They're like, eh. Hey, wait up! I'm an important part of this team. Remember? Oh. Oh. That was something. Hundred percent. That was something. Oh, this is an iconic episode. 
Wait, why is this iconic? Wait, I'm scared. Iconic as in sad, iconic as in scary, iconic as in I'm going to cry, iconic as in I should be nervous, like. No one spoil? Okay, okay, nobody spoil. Let me know when the ads are done, okay? Let me know when the ads are done. Oh. Yeah, man, thank you for the 25. Appreciate you. All right, we're waiting patiently. I'm reading, I, I'm reading everyone's favorite uh, season. You're going to love season five? Why? Iconic isn't interesting? Okay. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued what that means. Trust me, Amy, you will. Okay, I trust you. Season 5 introduces the best pony. Oh my god, am I in that? That's crazy. You see the t-shirt you're wearing? Yeah. Uh, it's my girlfriend's. Hold on. I'll do a, I'll do an outfit check. Do you see me? I'm wearing jorts. And this shirt. Wait, hold on. I'll show you- I'll show you the full shirt. One sec. A big fan of oversized clothing at the moment. My girlfriend- it's my girlfriend's. I stole it. LOL. Okay. Come back. All right. All right. You ready? Who? Adam Sandler? We're getting into it. Any minute <gasps> now. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah! It's officially apple booking day. Look at all those apples. Ripe and juicy. Perfect for booking. But, uh. I'd be human. What the heck is going on? <gasps> They're back. That's. Oh wait, this is an Applejack my episode. Pony, Let's go. My little pony. My little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. W. Magic you. makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? All right, ready, chat. Attention! This is a sweet apple acres cold red. I need all hooves and claws. Oh. Applejack. Calm, calm down. down. How can I calm down at a time like this? Vampire fruit bats are attacking sweet apple acres. But I thought the fruit bats usually stayed put in the West Orchard. The fruit bats do. But these aren't just your everyday ordinary fruit bats. They're vampire fruit bats. I'll be darned if they think they're gonna sink their fangs into my blue ribbon apple. The subtitles are so off. This is making me laugh. <laughs> This here's our entry into the Appaloosa State Fair's produce competition. You know how much TLC goes into getting an apple to grow like oh, this? Oh, is this meant to be Jack, like, um, you like pumpkin big, you contest really in America? Them vampire bats want to shrivel it up like a raisin. Oh, I'm sure if we just let them know how special that particular apple is to you, they'll leave it alone. Varmints! Yeah, right. <laughs> be my guest. Jack and all my pumpkin patch. Okay. Um, excuse sorry, me. sorry, Did I'm referencing the time again. I'm referencing the time again. I'm sorry. We were just wondering if maybe you wouldn't mind leaving that really big apple alone. Mate, I'll well, be fuming. What'd he say? Um, yes. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna add because a virtual jar that every time oh. I make a veg time reference, I've got a gift for one sub. fruit bat I've ever met, and, well, it might take some time for me to really understand their language. Uh huh. And in the meantime, this pest and his vermin friends are gonna go after my prized apple. And while they're at it, every other apple in the orchard. These vampire bats are nothing but a bunch of monsters. Monsters? Oh, that's a bit harsh, don't you think? No, I do not. 
mods. I'm going to create a command, which is a count command. Every time I make adventure time reference, you're going to... You Apples both day and night, they rest for a minute, maybe three, then they're eating every apple in your apple tree. Hey! They don't care about nada, not zilch, no nothing, except bringing about an orchard's destruction. Anytime Apple Duck sings, I get so happy, Cap. Now wait just a minute, there's another side to this. And if I did not defend them, it is then I would us. be remiss. These bats are mamas and papas too. They care for the young just like we ponies do. Oh, give me a break, you're being too kind. These creatures have a one-track mind. The orchard is not their restaurant. But do they ever think what others may want? No, they don't. Ooh. And that is just a fact. Ooh. These bats, they simply don't. Where I have to disagree, they're loyal to their family, spreading seeds both far and wide. You see one coming, you better run and hide. They're big and ugly and mean as sin. Will you look at the state my trees are in? They help your trees, they'll grow stronger, faster. They've turned my life to a total disaster. Well, I for one don't have a doubt These vermin must be stamped right out I second that they've got to go These bats, they've got this is to go the road It comes down to just one simple fact They've crossed the line, it's time to fight them Stop back. the bats, stop yeah. the bats Make them go and not this come is back so... Stop the bats, stop the bats Make them go and not come back I'm viewing them differently. Yes, it comes down to just one simple fact. They cross the line, it's time that we attack. Whoa. I'm sorry, Fluttershy, but I believe Applejack has made the better argument. These vampire fruit bats sound downright dreadful. So let's get to rounding them up so that they don't destroy the rest of my orchard. Fruit bat roundup, fruit bat roundup. Um, Excuse me, but, um, what if instead of rounding them up, we let them have part of the orchard? Have you lost your pest-loving mind? Oh. They're only here because they're hungry. If we build a sanctuary for them, they could have their own apples to enjoy. After a while, they could even help the rest of your orchard. The vampire bats don't eat the seeds of the apples, and when they spit them out, they grow into even more productive apple trees. Listen, Fluttershy. That sounds real nice and all, but every second we spend building this so-called sanctuary is a second they'll spend destroying orchard. You don't know what it was like the last time there was an infestation, but Granny Smith has Girl told me enough income. stories about it. But I understand. Just the of it gives me nightmares. Granny says we lost a huge section of orchard that year. They had to ration out apples all winter. Whose side are you on, Chet? What about the cider? There was still cider, right? Not a drop. No cider? No cider? We need to round up these monsters and we need to do it now! If Granny Smith wasn't with Apple Bloom and Big Mac checking out our produce yep. competition in Appaloosa, Thank you, she'd Sopa. be here telling us to do just that. I'm sorry, Fluttershy, but I think Applejack is right. I just wish there was another way we could convince them not to eat them in the first place. Maybe there is. So, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that I found a spell that can get the vampire fruit bats to stop wanting to suck the juice from the apples. But in order for the spell to work, I need the bats' full and complete attention. Mods, do a poll. Oh, no. Fluttershy Fluttershy. or Applejack? I need you to do your stare on the bats. Oh, gosh. I don't know. What's the problem? You've used the stare plenty of times before. Yes, but it's not something I take lightly. I've made a vow not to use it except in dire circumstances. This circumstance is plenty dire to me. Me too. Think of the cider. Won't somebody You're a problem. please think of the cider? I'm sorry. I just don't like the idea of taking away the thing that really makes the vampire fruit bats vampire fruit bats. It just feels wrong. But if we don't do this, 
There won't be any. Vote on the poll, chat. Vote on the poll. Ponyville. Doesn't that feel wrong too? Pinkie Pie, they got the 69 bits. Will you do your stare on the bats or not? Um. Um. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, it's okay. Good choice. Okay. I knew you wouldn't side with those icky bats. <laughs> They're not icky. First round of side is on me. Hold it right there. We gotta round up these beasts with wings first. Time's a wasting. Cider is like juice. Like, right? It's fizzy juice. Because in the UK, cider... Sorry, one sec. In the UK, cider is obviously like... Um, cider is like beer. Uh, and also like fruit fruit alcohol. But in America or in other places, I'm assuming cider is a bit different. Yeah, it's not... Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Is it? Sorry, this is gonna second question. In America, do you guys not call uh fruit alcohol ciders? Because basically in the UK we call um like apple cider vinegar as well is something we have. But that's it mostly. Got above. Apple do we have do I just not get out much? Apple si No, I do. Okay, moving on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> My boy is hungry. we need is for you to do your stare. Um, oh, are you sure I really need... Okay. I really, really, really hate to do this to you. I just hope you can forgive me. Good. Now you go, Twilight. All right. Look at a ray gun for eyes. You can stop staring, Fluttershy. Hmm. Did it work? Only one way to find out for sure. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! My crop is safe! Yeah! I've been drinking cider all winter long! I want to thank you for your help. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, uh, don't mention it, Applejack. It was He's not pleasure. happy. Really? Now all we gotta do is sweep up these cores so I can start bucking fresh tomorrow morning. Apple bucking day, take two. Yeah! This action will have consequences. Time to collect those juicy sweet apples. <laughs> oh no, the consequences of me actions. Is that right? Yeah. The spell didn't work. You're darn tootin' the spell didn't work. I think we're gonna have to take more extreme measures. I hear you, Applejack. Come on, everybody. Let's track down those vampire bats. Was it not them to begin with? Wait a minute. I don't think these bats are the ones that suck my apples dry. But if the vampire bats aren't eating your apples, who Bro, is? They've, they've got them reading. Fluttershy, you're our Bro. animal expert. Do you know of any other creature that might be capable of this? I'm sorry. I don't. Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll have to catch whoever it is in the act. 
But how do you propose we do Fine. that? A stakeout. Witching hour. Try not. Try. This room. Child, this reminds me. This room. Just call this off. I'm not sure about the rest of you guys, but I'm really hungry. Oh, Fluttershy. It'll be okay. Don't forget, darling. We're all in this together. That's right. Stop no tweaking. No leaves this orchard until we solve this mystery. Agreed? Agreed! Does every pony have their pony signal? <laughs> That's cute. Now remember, Pinkie Pie, only use a signal if you see something suspicious. I got it! Something suspicious! I love her hair. All right, now every pony split up. We'll each patrol our own row of the orchard. Whoever or whatever's destroying my apples has got to be here somewhere. That's I suspicious. Bad That's this. weird. A really bad feeling about this. That apple, it looks so juicy and sweet. <laughs> She's becoming a vampire. What the fuck is happening? Oh, maybe there is. I think I'll just go see how Rainbow Dash is doing. Uh, who's there? Answer me, or you'll regret it. <laughs> what a guy. Have it your own I'm way. loving this episode. My favorite Fluttershy variant. This is so. That's not Fluttershy. That's Flutterbat. <laughs> We've got to get her down from there. Uh, Fluttershy, sweetness, please come down and do stop being a vampire bat. Last one already. Let her come down when she's ready. Let her down! Hey, with the right to it. Pie, calm down. See? She's back on her branch. She's just biding her time, waiting for the right moment to pounce. Pinkie Pie, bats don't eat ponies. Not even vampire bats. But maybe vampire ponies eat other ponies. I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> This is How so did this stupid. Happen? That's what I don't understand. I think this was actually our fault. Our fault? And how'd you figure that? Okay, so this is me, these are the bats, and this is Fluttershy doing her stare. The spell was supposed to go right onto the bats like this. But somehow the spell must have backfired. It took the vampire fruit bats desire to be vampire fruit bats and transfer that desire into Fluttershy. Technology! On, we'll reverse the spell and make it right. Then what are we waiting for? Let's save Fluttershy before that thing eats us all! Shoot the deck! Follow that bat!
This is so fucking cool. I can't believe we lost her. Oh, Fluttershy, where are you? I know I keep saying it, but one like the constant updates. Oh, it's so good. The updated animation's so good. Oh man! I understand what you guys mean when you said this is iconic. will be gone in no time. That's the least of my worries. I just want my friend back. We'll never get her back unless we corner her and catch her so I can reverse the spell. There she is. There she goes! Oh, this is no use. I think the only way we're gonna catch her is if we find a way to lure her closer to us. Oh, but even if we can lure her to us, how are we gonna get her to stay still long enough for you to do your reverse spell? Oh, if only we had Fluttershy to do her stare on the Flutterbat! <gasps> That's it! Okay, let's get our friend back. Action stations! So much for having the winning apple in the oh, apple who's no! fair, huh? <sighs> Her design is so fucking sick. She's coming! Oh. Bro! Sorry I didn't take your suggestion in the first place. And don't forget, now you'll get seeds that will grow into even bigger and better apple trees. Does that mean what I think it means? <laughs> yep. More side of two. Oh. Okay. Got the part oh, of the spell. Oh, Fluttershy. Oh, I would have listened to you. Building the sanctuary. Be sure to put in there that I came to see that my short-term solution was a little short-sighted. And that you shouldn't let any pony pressure you into doing something you don't think is right. Sometimes, you have to tell even your closest friends, no. Now, how about we celebrate our stronger-than-ever friendship with a nice, ripe, juicy apple? Stand back! I want to suck its juice! <laughs> What? What? Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> You're funny for a Canadian? I'm Welsh. I don't even know what to say you. Stop! I'm no! Do not call me your favorite Canadian! Do not call me your favorite Canadian! No! No! I'm not Canadian!
Yes, because people... Okay, I'm not offended. I love Canadians. I love Canadians. Listen. But I'm never beating the Canadian allegations. For some reason, people just believe I'm Canadian. Stop assigning me Canadian at birth. I'm not. I'm bloody not. All right, chat ads are about to start. When the ads are playing, chat, let me know in the chat who your favorite pony is, okay? You don't even sound Canadian? I know. Fucking hell. Bloody hell. This is a good episode. The long... Does this... Wait, out of curiosity, does this actually... Does the teeth actually stay? The fang? Or is it just this episode that is mentioned? Or do we see more of it? Oh, no? I'm bored. It would've been really cool. Bro, why do they do that? It would've been such a cool thing. But a lot of people head cut, a head can on her as a pop band. Now that's really cool. That's really cool. That's so cool. Bro, I love that the, the last two episodes were quite literally just Fluttershy turning into two different characters, like two different things. We had Buffer Buffershy and also Flutterbat. Love that. Rock and roll, motherfuckers. <laughs> She's just that cool. It's just so random. What a Hulk! Insane, actually. Genuinely insane. Are you Australian? No. Lu I think Luna's one of my favorites. Lu Luna is one of my favorites, all right. Yeah. Uh, let's take the Polaroid for today. Hold on, chat. Lock in. We're taking the Polaroid for today. Get in. Everyone smile. Everyone smile. Hold on. All right. It was a very short stream today, chat, because I have to go. Uh, and yeah, as you guys know, I'm streaming my... Look at this spot, chat. I give him a name. Uh, as you guys know, I'm streaming every single day this month. We are now on day 21. I've got Polaroids to give away on the 31st. All right, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Please make sure to drop a follow, chat. Chat, I think I shaked when I took the Polaroid. Doesn't look too great, gonna be honest with you. <laughs> All right, bye everyone. Have a good day. Bye.